All right, this is Robert Forsh with the YouTube channel Truth. Wanted to show you the sunset over the Myrtle Beach area. We had the moon rise at a uh, little after 6 p.m. here. I'm on the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier right now. <clears throat> can see the um, symmetry of the reflections off of the buildings and straight across the water and bam there she is. The uh, moon gives off its own light. It's referred to as feminine in the Bible, God's Word. And the sun is masculine, gives off his light. Where the sun and the moon appear and vanish on the horizon indicates that they are the ones that are moving. The earth is stationary and doesn't move. We've got the uh, tidal activity and the numbers for today right now here at Cherry Grove. So that would be geocentric rather than heliocentric. Heliocentric is the spinning globe, water ball, hurling through space Why? just so you know. We didn't go to the moon, we don't live on a globe, and we still got the monkeys. How about that? So the local sun, you could hashtag it, or you could hashtag Robert Force. You'll find a lot of interesting content there. It's not just what I've created or captured and shared. It's powerful documentaries that I've found and shared from all over the world. My like video playlist has over 3,200 videos now covering topics from the New World Order, artificial intelligence, all of that. Biblical cosmology. Most importantly, the audio slash video Bible. I've got the beauty of creation and an audio Bible professionally merged with it. Hundreds of hours of that. No matter how many of the actual conspiracies you're able to determine, you need to be born again to even see the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so the sun and the moon and stars move above the stationary and level earth. There would be no level anywhere on a spinning water sphere hurling through space at imaginary speeds. Combined movements that have never been proven nor can be felt. Just so you know. You can explore that if you want to. The sun and the moon too, but it's easier to see it with the sun as like a laser beam shooting across the water. If you want stickers like this, you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 169 Cloverleaf Drive, Longs, South Carolina, 29568, and I'll send you some stickers. Right over there is where I captured the sun and the clouds in such a way that has been shared over 20,000 times and almost a million views now in its variety of venues. The raw footage on my channel has less than 3,000 views. However, through the Facebook groups, there's almost a million views in its variety of, of venues from Infinite Earth to Flat Earth Research and many other occurrences of it as well. Also the reflections of the buildings clearly indicate the flat and level water. It's mostly flat, there's some texture to it. The Myrtle Beach skyline is roughly 25 to 30 miles away. 
because it's curved, it the curved coastline it varies, just so you know. There's only a less than three mile an hour wind, maybe one to two miles an hour wind right now out of the north. You can explore my content on uh, Facebook. I've got a photo album with nearly 3,000 videos. I should say uh, photos. Many of the, the moon and the sun and the people enjoying the beauty of this out here. The, uh, the sun goes out of our perspective from a particular vantage point and then will appear to somebody else's vantage point. And the Tides Near Me app that I use is worldwide. I've been able to confirm it at this location. The estimation of the, uh, the tidal activity as well as when the sun and the moon appear and vanish and the percentage of the moon depending on its phase. You can look at the numbers of that. Sometimes the moon is the same percentage at moon rise and moon set. Other times it varies more than 10 percent. You can see that there's a, a local highlight in the middle of the view. The sun is not 93 million miles away. That's absurd. Now let's go take a look at the moon. Excuse me. So now I can uh, see the moonlight on the water, the, the beam there, and I'll take us right on in. The duration of visibility between the sun and the moon can vary several hours to being virtually the same amount of time. You can look that up if you care to. Clearly indicate that they're moving. Now the Bible also says that there's the firmament. It's a solid structure separating the waters above from the waters below that we're looking at right now. So the truth isn't based on popular opinion. It's not popular and it's not an opinion. It, it's just the truth. The truth about whatever situation you're looking at. If you want to know what that is. Seven, we're all eternal beings having a temporary human experience. At some point in the human experience, the child of God will be born again. Seven people per second no longer have the human experience. Where will they go and why? Where will you spend eternity and why? I'm just one of the people wanting to let you know that God is real, the Bible is true, and 
is God's word and all others are suspect and should be compared to scripture. So the Bible accurately proclaims the nature of reality that we can confirm. And the modern scientific community is promoting a science fiction utilizing high power digital technology. Seeing is believing. What? What do we see and what do we believe about what we see? So if you're saying God isn't real because NASA says so, we went on the moon and we're in an ever-expanding universe, well, you better get that right. I would say they got it wrong intentionally. Now, Satan is the deceiver, and uh, he deceives. God uses him for that. So one of the things to consider is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says to everybody forever, they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. So, God's grace is required to love and believe the truth, let alone find it. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, what, what are you doing? I'm recording a video that I'll post to YouTube in a little bit. How much subscribers do you have? Um, around 2,000. I personally have about 40 million views on YouTube and the mainstream media, though. It's not the amount of subscribers, it's the amount of views, and it's the seriousness of the message, as far as I can tell. But, uh, have you done a face reveal? Any what? Face reveal, do they know what like, you look like? Well, uh, PewDiePie knows who I look, what I look like. I'm on his channel. He's making fun of me. Uh, you know who PewDiePie is? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And Logan Paul and others. Why do they make fun of me? Well, because they're making fun of the truth. That's what they do. There's the truth and then there's everything else. Are you? Do you believe the Bible is true? Yes. Well, the Bible says that the earth doesn't move and that it's level and that there's a firmament above the face of this stationary Earth. That means that NASA is lying about going to the moon. It's a big deal, because they teach it in almost all the schools, libraries, you got a globe there, it's in the movies, it's in the yeah, logos. What's that? Yeah. yeah, you can show her that, see what she thinks. I've got a... I've got an audio Bible merged with the beauty of creation, too. You might like that. What's it called? Uh, the, the name of the, um, the playlist is uh, YouTube Truth. There's one for you, a couple of stickers for you, too. Wait, what's your YouTube name? Uh, the name of the channel is Truth, and you can get there by typing in the hashtag, and then YouTube Truth or my name. If you type my name in, then you'll see uh, a lot of other content pictures and that. Wow, there's some big fish out there. Wow. What are they? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I saw some big waves, not just these little ringlets. That See the big waves that are coming out of that one? That was something pretty good size. I've got a lot of photos of the the moon especially, and then one that I captured over a video I captured over uh, Myrtle Beach that's been seen almost a million times. It looks like the sun is in the clouds just as Job 37 says, that the sun is in the clouds. It's pretty mysterious. It's not 93 million miles away. I can tell you that right now. Are you a Christian? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm actually born again too. There's a lot of people that are... Uh, Believing that the Bible is true, they say it is, and yet they really don't know what it says about the nature of creation. So it's kind of interesting. You might, you might want to look into that. It's pretty controversial, but the truth is divisive by its very nature. There's the truth and then there's everything else. I'll have this, uh, should be posted by 10 o'clock or so tonight. Wow, it sure is pretty, huh?
left again. Nice Thank to you. meet y'all. Thank you. Drive. Sounds good. And if if I um if I see you, what I can do is subscribe back. Um, if you make a comment, then I'll see you. With thousands of people, it's kind of hard for me to know who's who. But if you make a comment, hey, nice seeing you on the pier or something, I'll sub back to you. Okay, and that's the name of your channel? Excellent. Cool. You got to put us in your YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you all. Thank you. So one of the other really obvious things that I'm going to show you is as I tip the camera down, there's no uh, curvature from the left to right. The uh, What's called the x-axis. It's level. And you can check that out for yourself. Let me tip that down again. As high as we've gone with... Uh, non-NASA videography like over 20 miles there's no curvature visible 8 inches per mile squared can't be found I'm a born again Christian Bible believer actually have the Holy Spirit living in me, through me. Like a pizza? Like a compass? Not like a ball. The world is fine. <laughs> you, know, you can believe whatever you want. You from the north, they got flat lands up there. Well, you may want to look into it if you wanted to explore my channel. I've got documentaries. Oh, no, honey, I'd get my ass handy to me if I wasn't I don't mind. Oh, I do. We also have a thing called this. A thing about what? Thing called this. I know that. Well, well, uh, a reality exposes we don't live on a globe. We didn't go to the moon, and we still got monkeys. We didn't evolve from them, neither. And they said we did. They lied about that too. What? Satan is a deceiver. That's what he does. He deceives. He lies. So with the uh, lighting right here, it's easier to see the uh, non-curvature of the horizon there. That's what I wanted to show you once again.
The tides near me app is very effective at projecting the tidal activity. It's worldwide, however, I've only been able to confirm it at this location. So now when people look up a result like Flat Earth or Geocentric, they may have a hard time finding the uh, truth on the matter. That's one of the challenges. Artificial intelligence is uh, very clever. It's, um, it's a massive weapon of mass deception. And one of the things that's really important to remember is God is still sovereign. He's still in charge and nothing in this world is going to happen that he doesn't directly cause or allow. Just something to keep in mind. We can see that the, uh, the moon is easier to see now with less sunlight. The sun is moving further away from this vantage point. The sun and the moon apparently move at different speeds and move different paths. I've been able to confirm that. You could check it out for yourself if you like. The moon puts off a cool light, several degrees cooler than the shade from the moon. So the pier that I'm sitting on is moving a bit. I can feel that. And so the moon isn't exactly a perfect sphere, although it will look like that when it's full moon, based on the way it's visible to us. I've got photos that show other that it's not a sphere. One of the most powerful evidences of the non-movement of the earth is that a level will just seek level. A spirit level, water level, the water in your, uh, in your glass, in your bathtub, in your toilet. There's up and down, not upside down in relationship to one another. There aren't people sitting on a pier upside down in relationship to these people here. That's ridiculous. Yet many people believe that. It's not even possible. So the truth is divisive. It divides families, it divides relationships, it divides churches. Some people love the truth and others just give lip service to loving the truth. It's going to be up to you what you determine. And I believe it's God's grace required to believe the truth, let alone find it.
So artificial intelligence is the biggest existential threat to humanity. It can regulate the distribution of electricity and, and all of that. So without um, electricity, much of the population of the world would perish because we rely on it now for the climate control and the distribution of energy and heating and climate, all of that. So like, for example, the uh, water towers aren't just water towers, they're cell towers. And the uh, what's called global warming is, it's not a globe and it's still man-caused man or artificial intelligence-caused climate modification. So you may want to look into it because... Uh, Eternity is a long time to regret. That's what I would say with that. So thank you so much for your public and private encouragement. Feel free to reach out anytime. Should you like to give me a call, my phone number, anytime number is 1-843-504-1776. Water is a natural level, covers the face of the earth. This is the largest level in the world. It's sea level. Can you see it?